As we mentioned in our previous videos, investors can shorten the duration of their private equity investments through private equity secondary transactions. Now, just to recap, LPs stand for limited partners or the investors in the private equity fund. And the GP stands for general partner or the private equity firm in the private equity fund. And a private equity secondary transaction is when an LP sells its interest in a private equity fund to another LP. Now, do LPs or do GPs lead these transactions? In this video, we'll be diving deeper into private equity secondary transactions by talking about LP-led secondaries, GP-led secondaries, and continuation funds. And we'll end this video with a final thought. So let's get started with LP-led secondaries. When an investor, an LP, needs liquidity and wants to exit a private equity fund in the middle of a fund, well, it can sell its stake in an LP-led secondary. Sometimes an LP may need to substantially reduce its private equity exposure in a short period of time. In these cases, an LP may package multiple of its private equity fund commitments together and try to sell this package as an LP-led secondary to another LP. While LP-led secondaries have been around for years, it's GP-led secondaries that have been growing quite a bit recently. So let's move on to GP-led secondaries, or as they say in the industry, GP-leds. GP-led secondaries are secondaries that are driven by the general partner, the GP in the private equity fund. GP-led secondaries usually refer to secondaries that occur toward the end of the life of a private equity fund. If you remember from our previous videos, a typical private equity fund's life is 10 years in length. Well, towards the end of the fund, in years 7, 8, 9, or even 10, there may be portfolio companies or a portfolio company in the private equity fund that are not ready to be sold. In other words, the portfolio company or portfolio companies may have further growth prospects. Because of this, the GP may not want to sell the company or companies, but some of their investors, the limited partners in the private equity fund, may want to sell the company or companies to get liquidity. So the GP can create a structure where certain LPs can exit, while other LPs and the GP can maintain their interest in the investment. Now to do this, the GP can structure the transaction in multiple ways. It can create a new vehicle called a continuation fund to buy the company or companies from the existing private equity fund. We will talk about a continuation fund in more detail later in this video. The GP can get preferred equity, where a new investor offers preferred equity financing to give certain LPs liquidity. 17 Capital is a leader in this space. The GP can conduct a strip sale, where a fraction of the fund's investments, or a strip, are sold to give certain LPs liquidity. An example of this is the $160 million strip sale in early 2022, where Stepstone Group bought a fraction of the remaining portfolio companies of Vertex Venture Israel's fourth flagship fund. And there are many other structures for GP-led transactions as well. But let's go into more detail in one of the structures that has been rapidly growing, and that's a continuation fund. A continuation fund is exactly what it sounds like. It's a fund that is created to allow GPs the opportunity to continue to hold on to investments longer, while giving LPs the opportunity to cash out. An example of this continuation fund would be CDNR Value Building Partners 1 LP that Clayton Dubler and Rice formed to maintain interest in the recent Belron deal. Now, while a continuation fund sounds simple, it's actually fairly complex. The private equity fund is transferring one or more of their portfolio companies from the existing fund into a new special purpose vehicle. 
Many questions need to be addressed, such as, at what price do the company or companies get transferred at? If an LP were to roll its interest in the portfolio company or portfolio companies into the new vehicle, how do the terms change? And what conflicts of interest can arise? Now, here's a final thought. Private equity secondaries firms have been participating in LP-led secondaries and GP-led secondaries for years. With that said, the continuation funds we referred to in this video, typically referred to in the industry as GP-led single asset continuation funds, are starting to get a lot more exposure. Investors, regardless of whether a private equity secondary is GP-led or LP-led, private equity secondaries can provide you with a great way to shorten the lifespan of your private equity investments. With that said, before you invest in private equity secondaries, you need to fully understand the details and do your due diligence. In this video, we covered LP-led secondaries, GP-led secondaries, and continuation funds. If you have any thoughts about private equity secondaries, please share them in the comments below.